in the vast deep forest of Hyrule. Long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. O oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long the Kokri Forest, the source of life has stood a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon thee. On October 7th, 2013, I got out an iPhone 3G, stuck it into a shoe, and began my first actual Let's Play of what I actually thought was good looking at the time. But, here we are in the 21st freaking century, as you can see. <laughs> um, I did not really uh, accept the way that it came out, so here we are again with yet again a another playthrough of another Nintendo classic known as The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It stands as a um, just screenshot in time of when I began this Let's Play because I thought it was the most amazing Zelda game in existence at the time. 2013 was the year of just gathering new ideas for my channel and just launching them out as soon as I possibly could, but <laughs> anyway, but here we are in the opening the grand, grand opening of Ocarina of Time. Hello, LSP. Wake up. The Great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. LSP, get up. Hey, come on. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Yeah, I think we've all noticed that Link, when he woke up in Wind Waker, and Link, when he wakes up here, and even in Skyward Sword, he is just not one to wake up to such a task, but he does it anyway because people depend on him. He finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. The Great Decker Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The Great Decker Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. Well, we can see that Navi has more of a touchy and feely and more generous side to her than uh, Tattle does from Majora's Mask, along with Tail, because they just steal Link's horse away from him. But <laughs> here we are, and the grand place known as Kokiri Forest, with this young Nightmare known as Saria. Yahoo! Hi, LSP. I really don't use Yahoo that much, so I don't see it as like a necessary email address to have. <laughs> I'm joking, but how you doing? Wow, a fairy. Finally, a fairy came to you, LSP. <laughs> That's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kokiri, LSP. Well, I really can't jumped to conclusions without a sword and a shield yet, but hey, here we are. And the place of birth in Ocarina of Time, Fukiri Force. We want to jump to straight, straight to the point, getting some ropes, and we want to go and get a sword and a shield equipped to us, so. How do we get a sword? Well, 
I'm gonna do is just run on over here and go into the cave and not try to lift grass without a gauntlet of some kind. But, <laughs> um, yeah. Ocarina of Time is a classic, and at the time when I started out in 2013, I thought a iPhone and a shoe was the best way to start it out. Well, I didn't really have much of a capture card material at the time, so I did it my own way. And I don't want to get crushed by a boulder here, so... Anyway, straight to the point. Here's our sword in this chest, Rachie. We have the Kokiri Sword on the equipment subscreen, and select it with a cursor and equip it with A. This is a hidden treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. I don't really think that I need to do that, but... <laughs> yep, this is OG Ocarina of Time, pretty much. So we have a sword, a tunic, and boots. That is pretty much it. <laughs> anyway, with that kind of out of the way... Don't want to get crushed by a boulder. That thing is going fast. <laughs> the tutorial guide really is just really standard. It's just very basic. It's not hard to get the use of. So... Make sure. Well, <laughs> I took a first hit, but I didn't lose any health or any HP at, with this specific hit. Um, let's go ahead and wait for the boulder to get out of our way here, and we want to go back to the main area. And yep, I'm taking quite the hit. <laughs> uh, yeah, coming back to the times of getting familiar with the game is just really taking a toll on me, isn't it? Anyway, let's crawl back out the hole and get to it. Also, I forgot NPCs are just really standing out and just trying to give you the best tutorial uh, possible, really, that is. Hey, let's work on some moves. To jump sideways while L-targeting, press A as you move right or left. To do a backflip while L-targeting, press A as you move backwards. To do a roll attack while L-targeting, press A as you move forward while you roll, you can avoid damage. If you have your sword ready, L-targeting. You can do a jump attack by pressing A. A jump attack does double damage. Well, that's pretty good to know. So, when I do Zelda Let's Plays and walkthroughs, I'm reaching out to all crowds. Those who have not played the game, those who have seen it but have not played it, and those who have played it but are looking for a walkthrough. So, generic. So what we're doing here is we are looking for a minimum of 40 rupees here. We need 40 rupees to go and get the shield that we want from the shop. So, let's go ahead and kind of jump, 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 jump again down pretty much and get all these little rupees up here and do what do. So, for those who don't know, uh, when it comes to speedrunning Ocarina of Time, people are just really keen on the fact that they have to go and search for rupees, so they try to find out the best exploit possible, which is clipping through walls and everything else of the sort. So, it's really kind of dumb and stupid. Like, I'm not really bashing any speedrunners or anything, but it's just... Uh, this is like the one thing they have to get used to. Is First thing they have to do as a mission in Ocarina of Time is get money, and it's just how it is. But... You can spend all day breaking rocks and such, but really a good hack to do is to go into um, Mido's house. I said Mido like Luigi from Luigi's Mansion, but... <laughs> Mido. <laughs> it's weird. But you get a bunch of money when you come in here, like five rupees, sometimes a heart, sometimes a green rupee. It's, it really depends. Anyway, we're just going to open up every single chest we can possibly find in here and move on. Okay, so now that we're out here again, what we're gonna do is kind of like jump along these stones and get an invisible five rupees right there, and then go into the shop here. And after we talk to this specific NPC, uh, which we're not gonna do, I think we already get the gist of how talking and doing things in Zelda works. Uh, I think Wind Waker really stood out as a point where you had to learn a bunch of things, so. <laughs> Deku Shield, 40 rupees, so here we go, and bam. So we're going to go ahead and equip that son of a gun right now, and skaboosh. There we go. We are leaving. Actually, did I forget something in the shop? I'm pretty sure that I did if you go behind this wall. You can get a extra five rupees of some kind. So, we made a profit. Anyway, with that, we are going to head out and go to the east. Right here. This is Mido. He will not let us through unless we have a sword and a shield equipped. So... There we go. Eh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good creep. Okay, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Let me in, would you? Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? 
I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the great Deku Tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. I think someone's a bit jealous. <laughs> you know, with all seriousness, what we want to do is go ahead and get a Deku stick, or at least a few of them. It's going to be these Babas that are going to be invisible at the most part, and bam, first Deku stick. It's very generic. So, these Babas in particular uh, kind of do rotations like that, just to like try and get you to be uh, in the range of being hit. So, it's really how it is. I'm going to go ahead and equip the Deku sticks right now to make it easier. Um, so as soon as I walk in the dungeon, it will be pretty easy. Great Deku Tree, I'm back. O oh, Navi, thou hast returned. LSP, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons have never been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. LSP, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Yeah, crest of the Triforest, pretty much. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Then enter, brave LSP, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid LSP. And LSP, when Navi speaks, use up to listen well to her words of wisdom. Well, at least we have words from the Deku Tree, we just meet him right off the bat. As opposed to Wind Waker in the Forest Haven, pretty much, so we are all familiar with that. Inside the Deku Tree. Well, it's worth it. We're here. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go ahead and pretty much just roll on in here. These Dekus are different because they actually attack from the front and not upwards, pretty much. And you can stand along and get hit all day by them. It's just nuts. This is a Deku nut, though, so that's pretty nice to have. There we go. And these guys are pretty aggressive, I'm not going to lie, so when you go up to the vines, we're going to get a climbing lesson from Navi. I wish she would just shut up already. Yeah, yeah. She is just assuming that we're the dumbest thing in the world, but then again, I only, I only just assume that's, like, logical, pretty much. Logical is its way of standing in the way. Let's go ahead and get this chest right here. Let's find out what it is. We have the dungeon map. Yep, we're going to be getting these, and pretty much every single time that we come to a dungeon, we're going to be getting these items to kind of help us out and aid ourselves throughout the temples and the dungeons, whatever you want to call them in your own words. And we're going to get another door opening lesson right here from Navi, which is just... Ugh. She makes my gorge rise when it comes to this stuff. It's like, I already feel dumb enough. I feel like Navi is just adding to it. <laughs> Ow, ow, ow. Forgive me, Master. If I give you a clue, would you, will you let me go? When you jump off a high cliff, if you hold up forward, you will roll on the ground when you land and won't get hurt from the fall. I can't guarantee it will work, though. If the cliff is really, really high. <laughs> well, try it if you are feeling bold. Wahaha! Thanks for the words of wisdom, Deku. So, I'm going to go ahead and roll right hand here, and we're going to see a floating platform, and we're just going to go and roll right off of that, and grab this ledge, opening this chest, and finding out what's inside. It's going to be lovely. Here we are. We have the fairy slingshot on the select item subscreen. You can use it to set to left, down, or right. Yep. It's basically a lot of reading and tutorial, which is just useless reading if you've played Ocarina of Time already, so it's just the way that it is. So, anyway, if we can get out of this redundant text box here, that's like the one thing that I don't really like that much about Ocarina of Time, is that it's just redundant and training us how to do things. But, let's go ahead and shoot this ladder down, and boosh. Jump it on down, boosh. And I really didn't even jump that high from a cliff, so the de what the Deku said is pointless at this point, that is. It's going to come in great use later on, but right now it's just not that important. Roll on out of here, and we're going to go ahead and get this 
skull thing right here. <laughs> you can call these the spiders, the skull tulas or whatever, but um these are skull tulas. They're not golden though. There are a hundred golden ones in Ocarina of Time, and it's just they're hard to find. <laughs> Actually not really, but it's hard to get all of them. And the map looks like a bomb. It looks like a speech bubble, actually. It's kind of funny. Anyway, let's climb it on up. And we're going to get the first Skulltula somewhere in the raising platform on the second floor. So let's go ahead and pop our way in here. And I'm going to assume that we are expecting some great things uh, right alongside this door that I'm about to enter very, very soon. There we go. That spider's dead. I'm pretty sure he's going to respawn when I walk outside of the door. But here we are. This room. Very important. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, Rana, is jump on this platform. We're gonna jump on the very left, and we're gonna get our first Golden Skulltula. We destroyed a Golden Skulltula. You got a token proving that you destroyed it. 99 more to go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do my best to get these, so there we are. And jumping our way out of... Are you okay, man? <laughs> It's like you're spazzing out of nowhere. Come on. Alright, it looks like you're just not going to relax at all. Climbing on back up. And we're going to go and jump on this platform again. Or jump on the switch, rather. And jump on this ledge and grab what I believe is going to be the compass out of this dungeon. We have the compass. Now you can find and see places in many locations hidden in the dungeon. So, yeah. Jumping on down, and we are good to go. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and light this Deku stick with this torch and light this torch right next to it. Unveiling this door with its bars so we can finally escape. <laughs> there we are. Now, with... Our items all acquired and everything. And yep, I knew this skull Tula would just respawn. Come on, man. You're just going to be in the way from now on if you just stick around. Anyway. Jumping on down. This way. We can break the web. Boosh. And a fall from that high really just does not make any sense to have to hold forward. Because there's just water uh, breaking our fall pretty much. Let's go ahead and burn this web on open. And we're going to... Go ahead and destroy this Skulltula right here. There's going to be two in this very room. There we are. That is number two. And the second, or the third one rather, in this dungeon and as an entirety is going to be right over on these vines. So, that's pretty cool. Grabbing those vines. And getting our third Skulltula. Drop it on down. What do we have? Well, we have a chest that is just right here, rather. So let's go ahead and open that up on right now. Let's see what's in here. Recovery heart. Yep, I feel useless without it. Next, we have this feller that is just chilling on the outskirts of the good old uh, inside of the Great Decker tree. That is, <laughs> it's kind of funny. But what we actually want to do is notice this platform in the water. We want to go ahead and light this torch, jump on that, and make our way on over right here. There we go. Also, I forgot to mention, side hopping and back flipping is just really, really nifty in the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask because it basically helps you maneuver faster in ways. That's pretty cool. Please forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is 2, 3, 1. 23 is the number 1. Do you think I'm a traitor? Well, considering that you're just shooting nuts at me for no particular reason, I think that you are, so... <laughs> Shoot that eye, and unveil that door. This room! Very easy. <laughs> Navi doesn't even need to freaking tell me anything. I'm just gonna walk everybody right through it. Whoever's watching right now is just gonna feel so brave in this dungeon. <laughs> um, if it makes any sense, I really cannot consider the first three temples in Ocarina of Time to be dungeon material, because they don't have big keys, rather. So, that's one downside. That is just an opinion. They're still dungeons, because they have bosses and heart pieces, so that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, it, it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. I just know that it is. Given Ocarina of Time, it has never betrayed me. Come on. 
Time's not gonna run out now, is it? Even if I would've just waited, it wouldn't have made a difference. So, let's go ahead and kill this Skulltiller right here. Come on, man. Turn around. Boosh. Awesome. I know how to pull blocks, Natty. You're making my job a whole lot harder with this dialogue that is just useless. It is useless. Get out of the way, man. <laughs> Even though you're a girl. All right. Pay attention to what your face says. Yeah, get skedaddle. I'm gonna. You're gonna scram and you're gonna just run away. And it's just. Yeah. Navi is a con. <laughs> She's nothing but bad in the world. I hate to degrade Navi like that, but still. She is just notorious for unnecessary speech and text that everybody already knows already. It's just hilarious. Um, not too much to do in this room, but we are gonna go and light these couple torches and get some other Deku seeds, perhaps? Deku seeds and slingshot seeds. If I am so bold to say so. Right here. There we go. This room, it is pretty freaky because there's stuff to to come back for in here, actually. Um, when we're much older or younger, that is. So um Actually if my memory does serve me correctly, when you, we are an adult in Ocarina of Time, the Deku Tree is inaccessible, so it's walled off. So, anyway, I'm going right in here, and we're going to go ahead and get this torch and burn open this web. Crawling on through the hole of darkness, and we're going to go ahead and just do that. There we are. So, what we're gonna do now is push this block on down and get the torch right in front of us and climb back on up and burn the web to our right. It's pretty generic. Over enough time, the first three dungeons are kind of easy peasy. Easy peasy they are. If I'm still nice to say so. Jumping on across. Lighting this torch link, please. Jumping on up and then tumble right over this web and falling right down. Well, that was a nice save. <laughs> anyway. Here we are. The bottom floor, or the basement of the Deku Tree. We have three Dekus here, so what was the order? Number two. Number three. Come on. And number one. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. So you basically just gave me the answer to killing your fuer. Anyway, <laughs> that word in German is leader. <laughs> so. Goma is just freaking great, isn't she? Let's go ahead and attack her eye, like the first most part right here. And we're gonna go ahead and slice her eyeball open. And when she comes down from the floor for the second time, I'm gonna try something pretty nifty. <laughs> I say that a lot in my walkthroughs, so wait for the eye to turn red, and we're gonna shoot it with a slingshot, as usual. And jump attack with a Deku stick, and she is dead already. That was just like fighting a regular enemy. That's just nuts. She does hatch eggs if you wait longer, but this worked without a problem. Our container, and we are looking fine and dandy, boys. Let's go. Well done, LSP.
Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry on, or carry out my wishes. Now I have yet more to tell ye. Wouldst thou listen? Yes. Now, listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile, sorcerous powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon this chaos that was Hyrule. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Furor, the goddess of courage. Din. With her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the red earth. Nehru. Poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Furore. With her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. The three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens, and golden sacred triangles remain at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's province and the resting place of the Triangles has become the Sacred Realm. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the Sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the Sacred Realm of Legend. That man, that evil man, who cast the death upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. LSP, go now to Hyrule Castle. There, thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you. The stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. You got the Kokori's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, LSP. Thou art courageous. Navi the Fairy, help LSP to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Goodbye. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, LSP. Goodbye, Great Deku Tree.
quite a tragic coincidence, right? <laughs> hey, LSP, what did you do? The great Deku Tree. Did he die? How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. Well, thanks, Mido, for the vote of confidence in my saving the world and this forest, perhaps. But it is just what I had to do. He was just kind of on the end of his life anyway, right? Anyway, if it wasn't for Ganondorf, I'm pretty sure he would live a long and prosperous life. But seven years later, he would be just a baby sapling right in front of the very tree that just passed away. Or is it? How's it going, man? We Kokiri will die if we leave the forest. You're not going to try to leave the forest, are you? Well, given that I'm heavily equipped right now, it just kind of says enough, right? Anyway. Oh, you're leaving. I knew that you would leave the forest someday, LSP. Because you are different from me and my friends. But that's okay because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have this ocarina. Please, take good care of it. You've received the fairy ocarina. This is a memento from Saria. When you play my ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit. Well, this is Hyrule Field, so pretty much that wraps up the first episode of the revival of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, the first Let's Play that was launched on my channel. So, with that, in the next episode, we're going to prosper through Hyrule Field and commence our next, next mission, which involves visiting Hyrule Castle. With that, stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment, or anything else, and peace out, everyone.